Hey scrappers, Scrap It's back and we're going to do another dumpster diving video today. It is the 8th today. It is a balmy 16 degrees out. We are in the dog days of winter here now in the middle of early December. So we're going to, first thing we're going to do is you're hearing the rattling around in the back of the car is we're going to go hit the scrapyard first. I've got a e-waste circuit boards to get rid of. So we're going to go dump that stuff off first and get paid. So I'll show you some local e-waste prices if you guys are interested in that stuff. So that'll be coming up. And then we're going to go run one of my dumpster routes and see what kind of stuff we can get. It's been a little light lately. If you haven't noticed, I haven't been putting up as many uh, dumpster diving videos. Um, it's just been light. I don't know another way to say it than that. Um, so we're going to hope for a better day today, cross our fingers, we're going to check some extra dumpsters and up our odds, flip some extra lids. So first things first, I got to go pick up the uh, scrapping assistant Nathan, he's going to come with today and then we're going to get to the scrapyard, show you some prices and then we'll get into some dumpsters. Let's go. Alright, so there we go. So that was just a little bit of steel I had, so we're at 115 a ton around here, it's getting a little bit better. Not that much better. So there's your APOP boards, mid-grade boards, low-grade boards, 10 cents a pound, P4 motherboards, those are like the um, the small socket non-green motherboards. Chinese motherboards are the, the steel socket boards, non-colored, and we had some extruded at 50 cents a pound, so that's come up just a little bit. So not bad, 76.70 for the circuit boards, I'll take that. So let's go hit some dumpsters, let's roll. This is a HVAC dumpster I don't check too often. some junk down here, some brass and some copper. So we'll get this stick out and get that stuff out of there and I'll show you what we got. Hang on a minute. So there's a little less in there than I thought. There's a little chunk of copper in there. A little stainless. One piece of brass. The other stuff was plastic plumbing fixtures like the shower head and the, uh, and the tub spout. So to start, let's go. Direct TV not looking good today. There. Hello, hello, hello. Empty. <laughs> Empty. And all the coaxial you could ever want. Okay, let's keep going. Nothing today. I'm kind of staying on this. Uh, kind of staying on this pattern of not so good. We used to find um, Cat 5 in here all the time and it's just nothing now. I wonder if somebody moved out. empty to me. Box is empty. I'm going to take that box. That's actually a nice box. Nothing else. Let's go on. Man, they got it packed in here tight today. Look at that. What the heck is that? Some kind of charger thing. 
I'll take it and see what that's all about. Somebody whacked the cord off of it. And a whole bunch of these air hoses. Man, this place goes through the air hoses, I'll tell you that. <laughs> oh, it's like this, like almost every time I come here. Paint sprayers that have been emptied out of their parts. They're empty shells. That's strange. Huh. That is definitely odd. Can't say I've ever seen that before. Unless they're, well, they don't make stuff like that here. They paint stuff here. Strange. Maybe they take them out and mount them into something else, I guess. All right, that's about all I'm gonna dig through in there. Let's get going. back there. I've noticed on the camera that th this kind of a thing can look like copper, like dirty copper sometimes on the camera. Let's see what's going on in here today. Cardboard boxes. Office trash. Oh, come on. Let's get going here, scrap. Roll off a bunch of tin in it. If I had to pick up, I'd take it, I guess. But I don't, and I'm not going to. It's just not my wheelhouse. If you're wondering why I don't take steel, there's a video about four back. I'll put a link to it in the description if you're wondering why I'm not taking that kind of stuff. So, okay, let's go to the next one. The big apple box. I got the kids' attention. <laughs> you never know, some of them might be in there. I might actually take the box. Sometimes they'll think it worth money. Oh, look at that. For freaking symbols, dude. Like drum symbols. Nice. I don't know. Safe on the back. I don't even know what those are made out of. I've never run across anything like that before. The caster wheel, I'll take it. This dumpster usually has something interesting in it almost every time, I'll tell you that. about those uh, those drum symbols. Tell you what, we'll, uh, we'll look them up when we get home. I'm sure they're not something super valuable, but I guess you would never really know, right? I don't see much else in there. All right, let's go on to the next one. Pallets and cardboard and shrink wrap. This one was pretty good for a long time. It looks like they're getting done with whatever project they're working on. But that was a pretty good one. Let's check their regular dumpster. 
office trash. It's usually all that's ever in this thing. All right, let's roll. All right, here comes the cell tower dumpster. Well, we got something in here. There's some wire chunks, and it's a lot of times in the bags there's stuff. So at least there's something in here this time. So I'm gonna go through this stuff and we'll throw it on the ground and see what we got. So not terrible. A lot of the more red stuff's Cat5 wire. That's a big giant extension cord that got fried. So it'll just be drop cord and then just some miscellaneous wire. A little bit of brass on the end of that black thing and some nuts and bolts and some heavier steel. So take it. We'll load it up and we'll hit the next one. So I just dropped the kit off and uh, wasn't the best for scrap wise anyway. I mean, we filled up a tub. I'll show you what we got when we get home. There's a couple things I got off camera that I'll show you. Um, but I think the big, I'm trying to get killed here, turning left. So the big score might be those cymbals, those uh, drum cymbals. So let's take a look at those in a second here and see what kind of uh, money they're worth. And I'll show you a couple of things we got on camera anyway. Let's do that now. So we're back and it wasn't the greatest of runs. Although, these drum cymbals, I believe, sell for 30 to 60 bucks a piece. Um, there's the big one. The smaller one here, um, this one I cannot sell. You can see the crack right here. Or I see some light coming through it, and then there's another smaller crack right here. So that'll probably just get scrapped. I'm not sure what that is yet, but I haven't tried. I'm sure somebody will tell me here in the video. And then, uh, you know, we filled up a tub worth of wire. Cat5, some drop cord. Um, some of these little chunks of uh, extruded aluminum. A little bit of light steel, bolts, and a couple of caster wheels and stuff like that. This is another little interesting thing that we ended up getting. It should clean up. I think that's just dirt on it. So, But it's like a little kid shopping cart. And I guarantee you that. Bet you I can get 20 to 30 bucks for that thing putting it up on Craigslist, somebody wanted for their kid. I'll just clean it up, the thing looks nice, it rolls good. Um, nothing seems to be wrong with it, so that's a score. Those drum cymbals are a score, so not too bad. Thanks for watching my videos, guys. We'll see you on the next one.